Hi friends, once again welcome back to your channel. Hello Namaskara. This video is particularly for Karnataka. I would like to explain or I would like to tell you how to get all these details what you are seeing on the screen. Six points about a village level property. Usually in Bangalore and all you have two kinds of property city limit which is in BBMP and all the others is village uh, limit properties. So most of the details you can get online itself before buying or before committing to buy a property. We have already published videos of BBMP Khata transfer and how to download your village e Khata and all. Please watch those videos and this video what are the things we are covering six points by property we mean apartment or house or villa or plot or land with a property ID in village limits. Please remember this in mind. So what are the things we are going to cover? One is how to know your property ID or GSC number and document number of a property. I will show this. Now how to download and open village ikhata. Village ikhata will be having a password. How to open it with a password. How to check a village property can be registered to someone else. Okay, so before buying just uh, check the status of the property. Maybe it's already in a mutation process uh, Which you cannot register again. So I will show you how to verify the, this uh, details online and also how to check a village property owner details and also how to check a property uh, rights uh, Sometimes you can see uh, for example you take an apartment the owner will be uh, one name and the rights will be in a different name that can happen because landowner might have shares and uh, on your property now uh, last one is how to check and download government documents on a village property there will be some government related documents for a property of village property uh, when they assign a property number they will be uh, associated documents i will also show you how to download all documents let us start so now what you are seeing on the screen is the village panchayat raj it's clearly written that means it's a village khata and usually it will be written as form 9 or form 11 don't worry about the form number i have uh, explained it in another video i'm not going to explain here so this is form 9 usually it's a khata e khata village khata but computer printed clearly you can see here form 9 there are two things you have to note in this okay this is a panchayat khata e khata i have already told you because it's a computer printed khata two things uh, you have to important note in this uh, document what are they I will tell you two numbers are there which is what is needed for searching it online okay uh, in form 9 so one number is this thing right most on top this is very important under Panchayat Raji you can see right most on top this is the number document or GSC number okay this is uh, I am not showing the number it's a private document this will be usually five or six digit number and this is what we call as a GSC number or document number. Please remember this point. Now one more thing is if you scroll left top of this uh, form 9 Khata document as you can see here there is another number it will be 18 digit this is also very important. This is the property ID or yeah property id let us not confuse with property number this is called as property id please remember so these two numbers okay left most on top property id of 18 digit this is the second one first one we have seen that gsc or property number now remember these two things come back to google search okay in the google search what you can do is just search for east Vottu. this is the spelling as you can see here and the first link itself usually will be the link you have to open is in. this is the link you have to open you don't need to uh, sign in or register in this website to verify things whatever we were discussing the six uh, seven six points what you have to do is just click here there is a new pop-up you can see here check out verify under this please click on the verify documents first okay click here you got it check out verify under that please click on verify documents so when you click on verify documents another page opens here you have to enter your document number or gsc code okay this is what i had shown in the khata document document number or gsc code this is 
5 or 6 digit as shown in the examples here. I am showing it again under Panchayati Raj. You can see here there is a number. It will be usually 5 or 6 digit. Please note this is the number GSC number or document number. So I enter that number here. 6 digit in my case it was. And I click on view document. So this way you can first of all you are going to verify the documents. Clearly it is told it is password protected and password is document number itself so it says five or six digit document number same password you have to give i have downloaded the document and uh, you know my document was six digit i enter the document number five or six digit whatever in your case please enter the same number here and click on open it should open this so as you can see here oh, we have opened it and the same document has come up okay so now we verified how to download the verify and download the e-khata and how to open it again click on the verify and under this please select the second option this is the option you are going to select whether this property can be registered okay click on this whether this property can be registered and under that enter the property id okay so what is property id again i have shown you in the example it is an 18 digit one 18 digit id it will be always 18 digit itself and this is your property id so in the kata document left top you can get it and it's an 18 digit number okay so please note this down this is the property id we are going to enter here in this case and click on submit button so when you click on uh, sometimes this website takes some time but it's okay most of the time it loads you can see here property details are clearly shown what are the details shown whatever i shown you in the document owner name is there rights are there so who is the owner you can read it below okay and rights can be in different person's name you can see here owner num uh, name is given you can verify before buying whether the owner is having the rights or someone else is having the rights okay this is especially land rights and complete project rights okay please make sure owner is also having now the documents i have told you what are the government document and government orders under this property you can download here all these details are here okay document type if you click on any of this link you can get the document downloaded there is nothing you have to pay free of cost any government notification of, on this project or any other issue, any other government related notification, everything will be there. You can click and download. Now, one more thing I was talking about whether this property can be registered. That is also clearly given here. This property can be registered. There is no issue in registering this property. Okay. That means it is safe to buy. If you verify other things, obviously from this government side. For example, I am showing another example. This property says it is under mutation. Some progressive movement is going on under this property. So it's not safe just to buy that under uh, until unless it is ready for registration. Some transaction is going on. It is under mutation. This is another property example. So you can verify like this. And you can also see where the property belongs to its district block. All the dimensions will be given here. Property measurement everything. The example I have shown is from Bangalore South. This can be applicable to Karnataka anywhere. Actually, I tried a Mysore property, but it says property ID did not exist. But they might be surely uh, updating this. Uh, uh, usually, uh, apart from Bangalore, all the other village property might get covered easily on this. Thank you so much for watching. Please write your queries. Please give a like to this video. If you have something, let us know. We will assist you. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you. We will publish next video will be on how to pay your property tax in village level anywhere across Bangalore, anywhere across Karnataka I mean in village level you can pay the property. I will show you the details quickly in the next video. Thank you so much.